All the honor, glory, and praise belongs to the Almighty God on today. My subject will be entitled, Testing. Testing. Psalms 34, 19 says, Many are, are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. You see, we experience many different testings in our lives. James 1 and 2 says, My brothers, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation. James 1 and 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patient. James 1 and 4, but let patient have her perfect work that she may be perfect, entirely wanting nothing. See, I want to let you know that God allows us to go through testing. The purpose is often a twofold. It's never, it is never to destroy us, but to prove to us the truth about ourselves. I may be bragging about certain things and even believing that it is so. But when put to the test, I find out that I'm not as strong or great as I thought I was. The testing proves to us the faithfulness of God. And we cling to him and we cling to his promises. Testing plays an important part in the development and the growth of Christian's life. God allows his own son. He allowed his own son to be tested by the devil. What about us? In the book of Hebrew, we are told that Jesus was tempted in all points as we are. Yet without sin. Without sin. See, sin is the transgression against the law of God. Sin has no dominion, nor power, nor authority over us. The Bible said that sin stinks in the nostrils of God. Because Jesus suffered temptation, he is able to help those who are tempted, each one of us. Abraham's devotion to God was tested when God asked him to offer his son whom he loved as a burnt offering sacrifice unto the Lord. Well, the burnt offering sacrifice was a sacrifice that indicated a total consecration to God. It is one thing to say, I love God above every earthly treasure, and another thing to prove it in the hour of testing. It's one thing to say, I love God above every, every earthly treasure. And another thing to prove it in the hour of your testing. Abraham proved his devotion to God. It is one thing to say we surrender all to the Lord, but it's another thing to do it. And should be called upon to do so. Testing. Job's faith was severely tested when Satan was allowed to strip him of everything. Having lost his fortune, his family, his friends, Job fell on his face and declared, Naked I came into the world, and naked I shall go out. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Bless it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. See, Job proved his faith, proved that God was his everything. What should be our attitude towards the testing that we are being put through? See, I want you to know that we hate testing. Thus, it's often, often the testing calls us to be complainers and, and wimpy and whiny. James tells us what? To count it all joy. When we face trials and we face tribulations, we face hardships and disappointments 
and sickness and hurt and pain and stress. God will see us through if we trust and we learn how to lean on the almighty God. You know, I have discovered that a test produce and create a testimony of victory. Our goal is to pass every test that we must face without tripping or without falling and without failing. The Bible said, until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. It's testing time. Would you pass the test? Let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, we approach the throne of grace, looking to you for which our help comes from. God, we're asking you during the time of our testing period, God, that we can stand bold and we can stand firm and we can acknowledge you and we can lean on you. Because Lord, the word said, if we acknowledge you in all our ways, you will direct our path. Amen. Amen.